A very good morning, Jai Hind, my dear students. I am welcoming you this time for the English class. So, are you all ready? See the clock. See, it's eight o'clock now, and it's time for the class. I'm sure that my dear little children are all ready, as because you know the punctuality. You know that how we need to see that the time is so precious, and we need to. save each moment of our life and we need to utilize it very nicely so hope that you all are ready children in our previous class yesterday we have done the notebook work of lesson 8 that is i'm not talking to my cat so yesterday we have done true false and also we have done what we have just let me see from my notebook okay yesterday yeah yesterday we have done match the column like this here this match the column hope that you also have drawn the picture and also we have done the true false right so today we will be doing the next exercise so all of you please get ready take out your uh, take out your english notebook and open a page where after exercise number d today we will be doing exercise number e so all of you please write down today's date and class work at the top and then here you can see here you will write down today's date and today's date here in the left hand corner and at the center you will write down cross class work and after that in the first line you are going to write down exercise number e question answer exercise number e question answer exercise e question answer so please write it down exercise number e question answer and then now we will be writing three question answers okay so uh, write down first question number 1 so question 1 has to be written outside the margin you all know the margin right so outside the margin please write it down question 1 and then write down the first question that is there in the box see who gave the boy the cat who gave the boy the cat kisne boy ko cat diya tha who gave the boy the cat who gave w h o who kisne gave g a v e gave gave give ka past tense kya hota hai beta gave the past tense of give is gave give means dena and gave means diya tha the boy boy means ladka the cat cat means you all know yesterday i told you many facts about the cat right so who gave the boy the cat and the answer is grandmother gave the boy the cat who gave the boy the cat answer is grandmother gave the boy the cat so just write it down grandmother g r a n d grand m o t h e r mother g a v e gave the t h e d boy b o y boy the t h e d cat c a t cat who gave the boy the cat grandmother gave the boy the cat grandmother ne boy diya tha cat ko sorry <laughs> maine galat bol diya beta grandmother ne boy ko cat diya tha right who gave the boy the cat grandmother ne gave diya tha boy ko ek cat kab diya tha उसके बर्थडे के दिन बर्थडे गिफ्ट था ना इट वॉज हिज बर्थडे गिफ्ट दैट ग्रैंड मदर गेव हिम 
the cat right and how did she give the cat she gave the cat in a basket right it was decorated with blue color ribbons the blue color ribbons were there and the where it was there where it was there in the basket right so who gave the boy the cat and the answer is grandmother gave the boy the cat so please after writing down the question you have to put a question mark and then once you start writing down the answer the answer has to be written from the next line okay grandmother g r a n d grand m o t h e r mother gave g a v e gave the t h e d the aapko pata hai a and the ye article hai boy b o y boy the cat c a t cat and after completing the answer you are going to put a full stop jab hum question poochte hain to end mein hum question mark lagate hain aur jab hum answer dete hain statement dete hain to hum last mein kya lagate full stop lagate hain right so when we are stating something when we are giving an answer to something then we put a full stop and when we are asking something we put a question mark after the sentence so after completing the first question and its answer please draw a line question answer complete hone ke baad line draw kariye now write down the second question so second question is write down number 2 so question number 2 Why is the boy not talking to the cat? Why is the boy not talking to the cat? Why is the boy not talking to the cat? Boy cat se baat kyun nahi kar raha hai? Why? Why ka meaning kyun? Is is ek helping verb hai. दी एक आर्टिकल है बॉय लड़का नॉट का मीनिंग नहीं टॉकिंग टॉकिंग मीन्स बात नहीं तो, बात करना टॉकिंग नहीं बात करना टू टू एक प्रपोजिशन है द क्या है द आर्टिकल है और कैट कैट क्या है बिल्ली सो व्हाई इज द बॉय नॉट टॉकिंग टू द कैट बॉय क्यों कैट से बात नहीं कर रहा है एंड द आंसर इज The boy is not talking to the cat because it ate the computer mouse. Boy is liye baat nahi kar raha hai cat se kyunki usne computer ka mouse kha liya tha. It ate the computer mouse, not the real mouse, but the computer mouse, right? So the boy is not talking. टॉकिंग की स्पेलिंग टी ए एल के टॉक और उसमें आई एन जी लगा देना है टॉकिंग टू दी कैट सी ए टी कैट बिकॉज बिकॉज की स्पेल मीनिंग क्या होती है बिकॉज मतलब क्योंकि राइट कारण बिकॉज कारण ये है कि या फिर क्योंकि because b e c a u s e because it ate ate ka meaning kya hota hai eat e a t eat sab jante hai khana aur eat ka past tense hota hai ate a t e ate khaya tha the computer c o m p u t e r computer i'm sure sab ne dekha hai hai na aapne apne school mein dekha hai na computer lab mein dher sare computers right कंप्यूटर माउस एम ओ यू एस ई माउस एम ओ यू एस ई माउस सो आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग द आंसर यू आर गोइंग टू पुट अ फुल स्टॉप एट द एंड नंबर टू वाई इज द बॉय नॉट टॉकिंग टू द कैट द बॉय इज नॉट टॉकिंग टू द कैट बिकॉज इट ए द कंप्यूटर माउस फुल स्टॉप डन Now write down question number three. Write down question number three. 
but before writing question number 3 please draw a line after completing the second answer okay so write down question 3 what can't the boy do now boy ab kya nahi kar pa raha hai what can't the boy do now? What can't? Can't ka full form hai? Cannot. Jise hum short mein, ye dekho, isse ye upar comma dekh rahe ho. Is comma ko kehte hai apostrophe. Kya kehte hai isko? It is called as apostrophe. Right? Apostrophe aapko pata hai kab use hota hai? Jab hume pata na hota hai ki ye cheez mera hai ya uska hai. Kisi ki belonging. Kisi ka cheez hai ho. Ye bata na hota hai tab. Aur hum tab bhi apostrophe use karte hai jab koi hume short form mein dikhna hota hai. Kaysay cannot ke jage hum can और apostrophe लगा कर T लिख दिया तो हो गया can't cannot का full form cannot है full form और उसका short में हो गया can't what can't the boy do now क्या boy अभी नहीं कर सकता now means अभी so the answer is the boy can't use the computer now. Boy up computer use nahi kar sakta. The boy can't use the computer now. Ab boy computer use nahi kar sakta. Because uski cat ne kya kha liya tha? Uska computer mouse kha liya tha hai na? So write down the question number three. What can't the boy do now? Answer is the boy can't use the computer now. The boy can't use the computer now. Spelling of use, U-S-E use. And the meaning of use means upyog. Jise hum upyog kehte hai. Upyog nahi kar sakta. Use nahi kar sakta. Now ka meaning? Abhi. Right? So who gave the boy the cat? Grandmother gave the boy the cat. Why is the boy not talking to the cat? The boy is not talking to the cat because it ate the computer mouse. What can't the boy do now? The boy can't use the computer now. So, I hope that you have written the question answer. So, now we are going to do the next exercise. And this is the last exercise of this chapter. So, please now open a new page and write down today's date and classwork here first. Today's date and classwork and then a heading in the first line that is exercise number F, make sentence. Exercise F, make sentence. So what is the meaning of make sentence? Vakya banaye. Sentence banaye. Hai na? Make coming banana. Make sentence. And the word is number one, toy. So, you have to make a sentence from toy. Se sentence Dekho, maine ek hi simple sa ek, uh, sentence frame kiya hai, banaya hai. I like to play with my toys. Mujhe apne toys ke saath khelna achcha lagta hai. I'm sure aap sabko bhi bohat achcha lagta hoga toy se khelna hai na? What is the meaning of toy? T-O-Y toy ka meaning kya hota hai? Khelone. Toy ka meaning khelone hai na? So, आप क्या सेंटेंस लिख सकते हैं आप ये सेंटेंस भी लिख सकते हैं या आप कोई भी सेंटेंस लिख सकते हैं जिसमें टॉय वर्ड आना चाहिए लाइक आई हैव अ टॉय कार आई हैव अ टॉय ट्रक और आई हैव मेनी टॉयज इन माय रूम और आई प्ले विद माय टॉयज आई शेयर माय टॉयज विद माय फ्रेंड आई शेयर माय टॉयज विद माय ब्रदर और सिस्टर है ना और टॉय से आप क्या सेंटेंस बना सकते हैं देयर इज अ टॉय शॉप इन नियर माय हाउस देयर आर मेनी टॉयज इन द टॉय शॉप बहुत सारे टॉयज हैं टॉय शॉप में है ना सो so, कोई भी सेंटेंस आप टॉय से बना सकते हैं यू कैन मेक अ सेंटेंस विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस वर्ड टॉय ओके नाउ राइट डाउन आफ्टर राइटिंग फर्स्ट देन सेकंड वर्ड इज just a second. Number two is computer. You all know what is a computer, right? So please now write down the second word. C-O-M-P-U-T-E-R. Computer. 
कंप्यूटर से आप सेंटेंस क्या बना सकते हैं I have a computer. मेरे पास एक कंप्यूटर है आई एम श्योर आप में से बहुत बच्चों के पास घर पर कंप्यूटर होगा आपके पास नहीं तो आपके डैड के पास होगा आपके मॉम के पास होगा आपके अंकल के पास हो सकता है आपकी आंट के पास है है ना सो so, जैसे मेरे पास है तो मैंने लिखा आई हैव अ कंप्यूटर या आप और भी कोई सेंटेंस बना सकते हैं कंप्यूटर से क्या क्या बना सकते हैं वी आई देर आ देर इज अ कंप्यूटर लैब इन माई स्कूल कंप्यूटर लैब है मेरे स्कूल में राइट और आप क्या सेंटेंस बना सकते हैं आई लर्न मैनी सॉफ्टवेयर आई लर्न मैनी थिंग्स इन दी कंप्यूटर हम कंप्यूटर में बहुत सारी चीजें सीखते हैं और आई प्ले म्यूजिक इन द कंप्यूटर में कंप्यूटर में म्यूजिक भी प्ले करते हैं I watch movie in the computer. I watch cartoon in the computer, right? So computer is a very useful machine. Computer एक बहुत useful machine है right? So any sentence you can make like this, but make sure that the word should be there. Computer should be there, okay? So after writing down both the sentence from both the words that is toy and computer, you are going to make you are going to draw a line. Okay. So please draw a line after completing the work. So hope that you have completed till now. Yes, children. Have you all completed your work? That's great. If you haven't, don't worry. I'm going to send the PDF of the same. You can do it through the PDF, or even you can rewind the video and you can play once again, or you can pause wherever it's needed. Okay. So that's it for today. We are going to meet again in our next class with a new topic. Okay. till then i want you all to learn it learn all the exercises main next class mein jab zoom class hum monday ko lenge then i will i will take a test from this chapter okay so you need to learn the new words the dictation words and everything from this chapter hope that you will learn it and you will get good marks in your class test okay so that's it for today and yes the winter has approached so all of you wear take care of your health okay wear warm clothes so that you are protected from cold aapko cold nahi lagna chahiye sardi cheek khasi aayegi to problem hai na tabiyat kharab ho jati hai na fever aata hai na thoda thoda right to uske liye hame kya karna hai hame acha acha garam khana khana hai junk food se dur rehna hai aur warm clothes pehenne hain theek hai So that's it for today we will meet again in our next class bye everyone